All right, I'm back with a collection update. Uh, I've got a few things that came in over the last couple weeks I'd share with you guys. Uh, and a couple, some news, brief news. I saw two or three things I thought were interesting that are coming out in releases. Shout Factory is releasing um, the Bad People of all things. And the Manster. The Manster is, the Manster is getting a Blu-ray release. Can't believe it. Uh, Raro Media, I believe, or, is going to release The Wasp Woman with a double feature beast from The Haunted Cave and a Blu-ray. I mean, all these B-grade, Z-grade films that uh, you know you got on DVRs and things, they're getting Blu-ray releases. Crazy. Okay, I got a few collection updates here. Um, let me get this out of the way first, I guess. Of course, I have the phantasm box which um i did a separate video of this uh, i'm not going to belabor it but to say i was disappointed would be an understatement um i just think it's pretty janky and i guess maybe it's because arrow all of the arrow releases up until now in my opinion have been almost criterion quality I mean, they just seem to be the st of uh, if a film has a release from Arrow, when you compare it with other releases, other studio releases, Arrow just seems to set the standard. It has, I mean, it's head and shoulders above anything else. But unfortunately, I think they've let me down on this box. In my opinion, it's just my opinion, but I thought the just the the sphere was cheap and the. Um, I didn't like the digi books. I thought they were, I mean, other than the front cover art, I mean, everything else is pretty bland about it. And, and honestly, special feature wise, the Wellgo box is, I think, better. Which, you know, I, I couldn't say that for any other era releases. So that leads me to, as you would expect from an addict, the Wellgo box. <laughs> I went ahead and just corrected my mistake and, and bought the Wellgo box, which which has the the new audio commentaries with the director, Phantasm One, Phantasm Three. Um, so yeah, so I've got both. I mean, I, I, I'll probably do a more detailed comparison after I watch this, watch all, all the films because I do understand that my own personal opinions about the box aside. The Arrow picture quality is apparently better, particularly better on Phantasm 2 and on the documentary, but okay. So anyway, I got both, so I don't need to bitch about it anymore. All right, let's see what else I got. What the hell? Huh. This is not me. I guess my girlfriend got this. Sex in the City. Uh, I'll just follow 13 then. Uh, I got uh, the shameless release for release for Fulci's The New York River. I, for some reason, I just didn't. Uh, this one escaped my attention, but now I've got it. Adding adding it to my Euro section. Uh, I did a trade with my buddy Seth Cellular Terror, and uh, he sent me this Code Red release for How to Seduce a Woman. You know, you can always. Pick up. You never know enough about this topic, right? So any good tidbits are well worth checking out. Then I picked up uh, another release that uh, an Antonio Margariti film, Cannibal Apocalypse with John Saxon. I'm not sure this. Uh, now that I bought this DVD, I'm sure that it's going to get a Blu-ray from Arrow or 88 Films, but okay. Anyway, I got it. Then I picked up a Blu-ray of a Giallo, Murder Obsession, which I think this is a really good Giallo. Really good Giallo. Then I picked up some Mondo Macabre, Mystics in Bali, which is just an insane batshit Asian horror movie. Flying Heads. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. Can't wait to get into this one. Um, special feature-wise, it's, it's got a few things. Yeah. 
I also picked up uh, from Mondo Macabro, The Seven Women for Satan. Don't know much about this one. It's got an audio interview. Yeah, Seven Women for Satan. The French film that was banned in France. I'm not sure that's really saying anything, but okay. Then I picked up, this was, this one I'm most excited about. Abel Gans, the director Abel Gans, who directed the Napoleon silent classic, one of the greatest films of all time, uh, did a very interesting zombie World War II film called J Accuse. And this is supposed to be a really riveting movie. Uh, I can't wait to check this out, but I've heard, I've done a little bit of research and I've heard this is just a really compelling and, uh, and uh, underrated and really not talked about horror movie. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's basically a zombie film, uh, World War II zombie film. That's what I understand it. So I can't wait to check that out. Okay, well, that's a relatively brief update. And uh, I'll be back with other videos. Thanks for watching.